So we're busy moving barley today because it's uh, 30 degrees and yesterday it was also 30 degrees. So we take them into these bins, they're 4,000 bushel bins and we, uh, we cool them down and then we put them into some of these uh, flat bottom hoppers right here. Nope, not what I meant to say there, but whatever. We're, uh, this is the auger we use. It's wicked, it's a belt auger. It moves grain pretty quick. So I just got to, uh, there's a bunch of barley from yesterday that we put in there that we harvested and we have to take a load out because it's too hot. It's like 33 degrees. So we don't really want that. We kind of want it down in the twenties or the best as low as we can go and low moisture. So these fans do a really good job um cooling down things and it's a lot of it's a process but we have to do it so you know what can't complain all right what we have here is copeland barley which is an old older variety of barley as you can see is all lodged down which will reduce yield as well, make it harder for the headers to pick up when it comes to harvest. As you can see in this other field, it is much different. That is because it's a different variety of barley called Diablo, which is a semi-dwarf variety. What's special about this variety is that the stalk of the plant is much shorter than Copeland, which is a huge advantage due to the plant can focus more on the seed and less on the stalk, giving it a heavier bushel weight and a higher yield. These new varieties that companies are coming out with is a game changer for producers. We have chemicals such as manipulator, modus, and ethanol that can change the way plant grow, but it's very costly. I am very excited to see what the future holds with these new varieties and what they are capable of. Big spine PTO, is that you don't have nothing with that? Do you? finished our peas. Peas went really really well so there's no complaining there. Barley has been kind of a struggle. We're in this field right now and everything lodged which is unfortunate but we're having problems with our uh, our canvases on our headers. All we had to do is change the belt size just a little bit and everything seemed to work great now hopefully knock on wood. But uh, we're going to finish up here and then we're going to head on to wheat. But wheat might be a couple more days just because uh, it takes a little bit longer to, to mature. So there we go.
that one up, that engages the PTO. And this opens the slide door just straight there. The door that opens and see and adjust everything. I got it about 1900 RPMs. But everything's running smooth. This is a shit crop of shit crops. Oh, friggin' lodge it is. Put it on braking, they say. Hey everybody, so we're busy doing our trial here. So we got four replications. And what we're trying to see is if this is normally how our cedar is 15 inch row spacing. So what we did is seven and a half. So we cut the same rate. So 70 pounds per acre of the wheat. And all we're trying to see is, is there a yield difference? And do we need to utilize <coughs> all the soil or we can we give it a break? And so that's just the interesting part about it all. Everybody in this around this area is super against the uh, 15 inch row spacing. So this is just one way to figure out if it's actually gonna make a difference or not. Uh, the only thing we were really worried about was our wheat because we didn't think it was gonna perform as good. But based on our yields and we're talking to everybody else, it's not too bad. So there's only one way to find out and numbers don't lie. So here we go. And to do that, I believe you just click that. This isn't our uh, grain cart. We're borrowing it from uh, Alberta Ag Center. So we'll just hold zero and we should be good to go. So I guess we'll find out what we're doing. We don't have a PTO on our big thing, so it's the only way we can really do it. So this is our little setup. <clears throat> the cart will give us a reading of how much weight's in there. And then we got a bunch of uh, bunch of work is all it is. It's just more work for me. That's all it is, but whatever. It's kind of cool. It's cool when you get to see what the heck's going on in the field. So only thing I can really do is sit here and wait. It's uh, gonna be a process. I thought it was gonna be earlier. I just found out the queen died, so gonna have a couple beers for her tonight.